perfectionist, intellectual, non-smoking, S-W-M. Professional, 40s. Many interests, cultured, artistic, humorous. Unmaterialistic, multilingual. Disenchanted by business values. Unaddicted to weekending or getaways. Seeks SW. Gentle, intellectual, unmaterialistic, attractive. Unmarried, 35 to 40, no kids. started, perhaps you should try to say it briefly in your own words. Ah, long after I thought they had forgotten, my brother called. Use simple statements, thank you. Observations at any time. Ooh, wait there wow. for a phone call. Affectionate, intellectual, non smoky S W N. Intelligent conversation. 
conversation, sharing cultural interests, romance. Alive and humane, attractive and fit. Describe every person. Seeks similar woman for friend, building. playmate, lover. Emotionally open, intellectually honest. Lover, cuddler, Bach lover, keyboard hacker, non-smoker, modest runner, art deco fan, occasional collector. Pretty SJW, 39. Successful, super smart, sensuous, sensitive, cuddly, affectionate. The code is given on the menu. Seeks same in SJM. Articulate for fun, friendship, and fantasy. No one intellectual, not wealthy gentleman, 54. Loves marble, gardens, mountains, sea, would share Provence or domestic equivalent. Oh, no one will Seeks want to use the telephone. -ish. I seek not wealth, but sharing beauty, caring, family. Substantial independent means. Needs a trustworthy professional as a life mate. Promises additional glitter for the remaining golden years. Best regards on your recent Love words. the outdoors. Tennis, long walks, ballroom dancing. Also, Baroque music. The waiter greets me intimately. Or I can conversation. Youthful fifties. S W C. I am seated by the Seeking telephone. Male the companion. menu appears. To share interests, humor, 
at good times. Here I am, another petite, attractive woman. Successful, intelligent, educated. It is a word we use in the department. Piero, Palladio, Puccini, Pasta, SWM 41. It means someone you can count on. Woman, partner, discerning, pretty, young. Bio photo replies confidential. In any circumstances, let us go on for a moment to something else found in the dossier. A record of a sequence of events apparently related to and occurring prior to the observations sequence. It would appear to be a typical, though somewhat melodramatic, training sequence including both the confusion challenge and the place code memory requirements and enhanced as prescribed by a sense of urgency. What parts of this reading can you confirm? I will try to get this right you the first time. You recognized her? Yes. There's more to it than that. To say Do just you that. Recognize. It's her. not the truth. It was more than recognition. The word is too secretive. It hides something. It keeps one of the secrets. Of which there is too much in this business. Kept in the desk. By desk people. To make their lives exciting, Without I guess. Without knowing what a secret means. Secrets increase the danger. It is hard enough without the secret. Indeed, I recognized her. First. As the companion of my father. Then. I recognized her in the mirror. Finally. I recognized her as she but greets me. But the memory me. can't be trusted. The artists are at work. What does that mean? Their assignment is to change Their the world. Their assignment is appearances. This artist can make you look like somebody's make brother. Make footsteps on the land. This artist comes to your place while you are gone. And when you return. You don't live there anymore. Oh. Anywhere. The artist is assigned to change the, the artist world. Works for the Shelves in the halls and worn out friends with the custodian. Tries to be invisible. Through modesty. And changes the world. Not perfectly, of course. Or permanently. Just long enough to distract. To you. take your mind off things. That's the danger. The work of the artist. Is part of the secret. Part of the secrecy. The artist had worked on her. For my benefit. Benefit is. The word to make her recognized Let by me. Just long enough to take the mind off the business. business of staying alive. I thought you would never get here. That's what she said. And I thought so too. Without knowing where here is. You will know it when you get there. When the surprise. All the traveling comes, seems wasted. You could have come straight here. Why see the mountains in the north of Spain? Wherever they are. Why enjoy the wildlife in the deserts? And let's see how the laps are living this it's year. It's been. Different? They were having problems with the Recite reindeer. Recite Spear 7, please. From, From the moment you step inside this elegant, spacious pre-war home, you will instantly appreciate its glowing and gracious floor plan. 
oversized high ceiling rooms, three bedrooms, three baths, maze room and beautiful kitchen plus pantry. Complete this perfect picture. And there is no end to India. As we know, it is so Lots very of differences there. The final place of empire. Where they go to die. Not a country at all. So we've been told. A huge collection of places. Probably complicated. The how to get from has to be learned. By wrong. A huge collection of wrong turns. Dead end. Where the empire runs out of Recite water. Recite Jewel of the Nile, please. Breathtaking river views are yours from every room in this spacious 1600 square foot home split. Master bedrooms each with home bath. Surround expansive 26 foot living room, large formal dining room, new kitchen. Perfect for entertaining and post balcony, now a den, many closets and jacuzzi. Mid condition. The connections must there have worn no away. The recognition comes too late. There is still some. Don't forget the sudden the end. Swirl. A state of mind has I ended. I have prepared myself. With help. Of course, the state has gone to all expense to train you. There should never be surprise. Surprise is an ending. The ending of a state of to mind. To be cultivated. It was a modern pleasure. Surprise me. The charm of modernism just recently passed. Not missed at all. Related to. It can't happen here. And. I will never okay. die. Absoluteness, please. There, there is an absoluteness, absoluteness to surprise, she thinks. Where does that come from? One of the media, probably. I read it somewhere. What about the telephone? I practiced six How months. How did you do? Got it to face value. Parlor tricks. The guy that knows that it will ring. Me. Post modernist. He laughs. About the absoluteness. Where does that come from? It's been around. I know I read it. What about the telephone? Six months. What kind of practice? There is a room, a telephone. Whatever makes you happy. Just sit there. Do whatever makes you happy. Whatever you do, don't wait. Then go to the phone. Pick it up. And hope you hear the voice. The guy from the department says. You're getting better. Otherwise. It rings. You Pick it up. You're dead by now. That's always hard. I got through one whole day. It's in the record. Beat him three one times day that day. Of six months. All the other days I died at least no once. No wonder there's a population. It's short. surprise that kills him. Absoluteness to surprise. That guy knew something. And after that, we trained in other things. The department one. And I. Still, sometimes he would call. Nothing very dramatic. Not middle of the night. Three wrong numbers in a row. Can't get the idea. A real pain in the, the neck. The fourth time it rings. I pick it up and ring. The guy from the department laughs. Four times in four minutes. It's discouraging. Keep cool. Stay in school. Keep an eye over your shoulder. Hard way to learn. I thought I was cooked when this one started. Come in tomorrow for an assignment. Not like that, of course. Hello. This is a survey. This is education. You have won a free trip to the end of the world. You can bring a friend if you like. Etc. The call that I was waiting for. Maybe waiting is not the word. Then it rings again. And the voice says, They got you this time. Funny thing is, I've never seen him. Well, Maybe I have. Too many times. So far, it's just the You'll voice. You'll catch on. He lives across the street. Are paid for by the city. Gives his wife a love pinch. When he thinks nobody's looking. And calls me on the phone. To offer you the prize. Retirement. Where you live forever. So I report to the office. To begin the trial. The one that never Free ends. Free trip to the end of the world. And here Your I am. site designed by well-known architect, please. This, this impressive, impressive spacious brick contemporary expanded wrench. Set in seclusion of private cul-de-sac. Elegant circular staircase leads to master bedroom suite. His and her dressing rooms. Marble cup and sunlight. Separate children's wing. Four bedrooms and three baths. Enormous great room and kitchen. All need to treat patio with a round pool. Heated campagna. And at the right time, go to 
over this place and do this and that in order. If everything is done wrong, you will be met. You may recognize the Don't person. Don't be surprised. There will be a message of great importance to you. This is the first you have to start somewhere. You must be aware by now that certain themes are forbidden. They may not be spoken of for the record, even if they have, what is the word, occurred for you. References to her, India as a place to die, and surprise are in questionable taste, remember. With this warning in mind, you may continue with the narrative. A kind of test of your understanding. Your progress. You will hear from us as usual. Best wishes. The one at the reception desk seems to be dozing. The old one. The trilo test of his understanding long past. You stop. What is the name of that feeling? Pick up the phone. The voice congratulates me for the a good start. The old one winks and smiles. The feeling is too brief to have that a name. That was decided long ago. It was my intention when this wet world was Et begun. Sarah. Where did I read that? That the feeling is too or brief to have a name. Recite to restored to classic elegance, please. This six-room dream offers gracious living to the most discerning, marvelous for entertaining, oversized living and dining areas. Access by French doors with main guest rooms nearby. Original detail remains. And about dreams. They give false order to actions accumulated. As experience. They supply the narrative. What about the feeling? The feelings are brief. Too brief to have a name. Dreams are interpretations of the recent Unjustified, past. Unjustified, of course. Dreams are phony stories There's about no ourselves. Not in stuff that dreams Just are made from. an accumulation. That has to be accounted Just for. Just bookkeeping. To satisfy a mysterious Who is auditor, unnamed, and once accounted for, forgotten. This could turn into a theory. If we are lucky, work on it some more. Thank you. Recite a one-of-a-kind treasure, please. Recently restored with distinct old world flavor, in impeccable taste by European foreign artist stoner main house. Eight rooms, two baths, master bedroom suite, kitchen featured country living magazine, two fireplaces, one walk-in. Antique stained glass windows, beam ceilings, pectoral floors, wine cellar, exquisite landscaping, greenhouse contains oversized hot tub, splash pool, brick walks and terraces, covered and uncovered, large barn for horses presently used as rice studio riding ring, carriage house with efficiency, apartment, summer kitchen in outdoor area, stone smokehouse, secluded estate, historic district, convenient to major highways, buildings and grounds immaculately cut, land flat. Gently rolling meadows and woods Overlooking trout stream A one-of-a-kind treasure In other words To be forgotten If we are lucky And if not Not forgotten Rehearsed This is the hard part Until every action accumulated Even has a game Even if it's hard to remember Imagine a dream house In a severe landscape It's always great No problems for light-sensitive skin Can be reached by car But nobody leaves are there exceptions? Except to wake up. Having rehearsed and lost it. One more time. Not looking forward to return. You've probably got everything. Streets that don't need to place. Check them one more time. The unbearable physicality of everything. That's probably a clue. The unbearable stupidity of that everybody's actions. That might be one too. The unbearable senselessness that of the narrative. That will not come together. The artists are at work. Or it's just writer's block. Assigned to change the world. Recite country estate, please. All stone slate roof estate, located on eight acres. A relaxed country style, architectural refinements. White stucco walls, leaded windows, elegant paneling. Beautiful wood floors. Country foyer, charming living room. With fireplace, dining room. With fireplace. Country kitchen, bar room, fireplace, and built-ins. Four additional bedrooms, two and a half baths, 
complementing the main residence, cutting gardens, specimen plantings, pool, clay, tennis court, large joining, terrace, outstanding opportunities, outdoor, family, enjoyment, recreation, film, entertaining. I thought you would never get here. And I thought I could never leave. That's the equation. Balanced on the fulcrum of deep sleep. Six times a night, probably. And on the seventh sleep, she rested. And got a feeling At great. At least the dream was over. What do you suppose all that stuff means? Must be code for code something. Code for what? Mundane history, maybe. You mean a true story? More or less. Why didn't you say so? The story of her first assignment. You got this from the record. She is told to go someplace. This is a test. But... For keep to see if she is careful to test her powers of observation to coin a phrase to teach her about where herself. is she not exactly a fun dark house. passageway unknown destination doors and stuff she is looking for something but she doesn't know what she will know it when she what finds about it? the real estate code for something why the recital the usual testing what about the dream that is harder to explain. Keep at it. What is remembered is only we a dream. We can believe it at that. Memory blocks anticipation. Two sides of the coin. Dreaming blocks the present. Which is where the danger they is. They should coincide. The phone call and the answer. Or else it's too late. What about the man across the street? That's a hard and one. And the old one at the desk. Don't forget about the artist. In the halls in worn out clothes. Makes friends with the custodian. Tries to be invisible. And changes the Not world. Not perfectly, of course. Or permanently. Just long enough to distract you. To take you. your mind off things. Very poetic. She goes on a trial it assignment. Is her first assignment. A test of her courage and, and mind. A test of her training. The labyrinth is just a house. Did we ever call it that? Maybe not. She is alone. She is looking for something. Doesn't know what the something is. Imagines there is danger somewhere. So she moves cautiously. Memorizing certain In a code that she has been taught. She supposes that. If she survives this test, She will be required to Certain questions answer, give descriptions. To remember what she Memory has Memory code seen. is. More accurate, less She believes valuable. that danger is real. She has been trained. And so the that. danger in this first assignment, this test, has to be real. There is a constant sorting. You mean in this life? She has not chosen. But that inevitability is her. This assignment is just the first of many versions of the sorting. The sorting is irrevocable. So the danger is real. She moves toward, toward the, the danger. There will have to be illusions. Tricks of the play that distract and increase the danger. Lapses of attention. Failings of weariness. Are indicated in reference to the world of dreams. Suddenly, finally, perhaps, she is face to face with. What she knows is the test. It is a person. I thought you would never get here. Yes. There is surprise. The recognition comes there too late. There is still surprise. Don't forget the sudden end. I thought you would never get here. That's what she said. And I Without knowing where here you is. You will know it when you get there. When the surprise All the traveling comes. seems a waste. You could have come straight here. That's the danger. The work of the artist is part of the secret. Part of the secrecy. The artist had worked on her. For her benefit. Benefit is the word. Your technique of observation, as demonstrated in the recording of the transmission in question, shows real improvement. Now, let us go on to memory devices. to acknowledge your reputation.
eyes, slender. Combination, companion, long term, and swinger. If you are a successful single active man, around 60 more or less, interested in music, good food, investments, travel, birds, scrabble, art, books, movies, gardening, family, or almost anything else. How about having dinner? See how the conversation goes. And unseeable from the entrance door. It is our Understanding that these practices of yours are believed to be predictive in those societies where they are used. And you have claimed this for them in spite of repeated warnings about the possible consequences to be suffered.
Caucasian. Successful, goal oriented. Hardwood floor with sheets of paper precisely Living spread. in a man's world, seeking a sensuous man with a desire and a persistence. Could be in the mood to West hamper me, an ability to conquer my fantasy. Slender to share good times, sunny beaches, travel, hopefully new future. Announced by telephone from the cafe across the street. thus far of the observations sequence and the training sequence in performances that were acceptable, if not remarkable. You must have noticed that the intrusion of the language of analysis during moments of the training sequence was not welcomed by all of us. You know the reasons well. It is antiquated. Let us go on to the objectivity sequence, where the rules of the exercise allow a certain flexibility of characterization in order that the requirement of plausibility is satisfied. You may begin at any time. An answer is expected. Yes, sir. It was just as I described. He said there would be a dog at the window. Can you blame me for being skeptical, a mere boy? I don't think he was 10 years old. He said there would be a dog at the window. I didn't know what he meant, of course. He meant the dog's face. I guess a dog can be said to have a face. The face of a dog. And that it would be terrifying. The face of a dog. He kept saying that. He was so confident. Arrogant, if you don't mind me saying so. That's the way I thought of it. An arrogant. Mere boy. With this story of a dog at the window. And that it would be terrifying. Of course, I had to show him he was wrong. Maybe wrong is not the word. Show him I knew what he meant. The man and his wife had a dog. I think it was a purebred. Medium size and lots of long hair. I don't know what that breed is. I don't know much about dogs. Sometimes they can be a little scary. Especially the purebreds, that confidence. It's almost a human characteristic. 
I guess that's why certain people like them. And every day while I was there, they would take the dog for a walk. And leave the boy at home. I would be there with the boy. We would be talking. The way grown-ups and children talk. Half paying attention, half greeting. I would try to get a little information about his background. I knew then that it would be important later. I would try to get the boy to talk to me. While the man and his wife were not there. Try to get this mere boy to tell me something. It was obvious that he had something to tell. There was something about him, about his past. Something mysterious. As though he had come from some other place. Some place almost not human. Maybe that's too much to say. We would be talking. This and that, you know. I say something. He looks away, distracted. Or pretending not it to listen. It made me feel silly, silly sometimes. sometimes. I would be looking for something to interest him. A mere boy pretending not to listen. Or just not interested, God. it's hard to tell. God. That feeling that he was trying to humor me. That feeling that he was trying to humor me. That's hard to take. He turn on me. Then he would turn on me. As though I had pushed it too far, can you imagine? A mere boy impatient with an adult. And he would say it again. Say it as a kind of threat, that idea about the dog at the window. And when it comes, it is terrifying. Finally, Finally I began so. to think that there was something... Wrong with him. Something wrong with his mind. You could never tell from the way he behaved, completely grown up and not ten years old. But I understand that. But I understand that that can be possible. Maybe even typical. When something is wrong with the mind. The surface is more than ordinary. This mere boy is more than ordinary. I think we have to take that into account. For positive or negative. That's my feeling. I mean, that's my feeling. It's your decision, of course. It's your decision, of course. I'm just here to witness. I'm just here to witness. But it was an unusual assignment. But it was an unusual assignment for me. Let us remind you, as the details accumulate, that this procedure is a typical and straightforward regression. In this case, in four stages and without major structural changes, except that in this stage and in the stage that follows, your relationship to the first person consciousness of the subject is limited and always in question. Think of this stage not as an impersonation, but as a time displacement exercise. We can continue. He is a mere boy so and more than ordinary. So to show him, to get his mind off this idea. The idea that a dog so would talk. appear. So that maybe we could talk. Maybe, maybe I could find out something. Mm -hmm. I called him to the door one day. When they were coming back. It was about noon, but very dark. It had been raining, and it was going to rain again. Everything was wet. You know the place we were staying, of course. You know the place where we were staying, of course. The cottage. They called it. Way out in the middle of God, nowhere. God, how they God, stand God, that God, climate, God. I don't know. The road Get stopped about 50 yards away. It came just out of the trees and just stopped. You'd think they would bring it to the door. Especially in that climate. So whoever, came, that so whoever came had to stop the car and leave it. About 50 uh, yards and away. And walk the rest of the way. Maybe it's that way to make it safe. Maybe it's that way to make it safe. That's the only reason I could think of. That's the only reason I could think of. Otherwise it makes no sense. Otherwise it makes no sense. Stop the car and leave it. Stop the car and leave it. Walk 50 yards through the wet grass. It was never cut like a neglected yard, not a field. It must have been cut once upon a time. While I was there, While I was there it was about six inches high. And in that climate, it was always sweat. So whoever came, there was always business at the door. Wet shoes and the smell of things The wet. reason I am saying this is that we watched them coming. I called him to the door, and we stood there in the door together. Watching them coming toward the house. They had taken the car for I some reason. Stop. I heard the car pulling and stopped. I called him to the door. Yeah, we stood there. 
And we stood there in the doorway together. They got out of the car, the man and his wife. The man opened the back door of the car and leaned in and put the dog on a leash. Very dramatic. In a way that's hard to describe. That light, that gray, green, wet light. We watched them get out. We watched the man take out the dog. We watched the woman wait. So that they would walk together. They saw us, of course. They saw us, of course. And they waved in that silly way people do. All of us living there together. The man, the woman. This mere boy and me. They know the assignment. We suppose the boy does not we know. We suppose the boy does not know, I we guess. Just stay there we just stay there day after day. Every day, the man and woman go out for two hours or so. Fresh air, some excuse, or when it's raining into town for shopping. Always the dog goes with them. The boy never asks to go, never even asks. And I would be left there with the boy, and I would try to talk with him. To find out something. It was my assignment. They would be gone for a couple of hours. When they got back, the day would go as usual. Cook a meal, listen to the radio. I would play chess with one of them. I would play chess with one of them. Or I would try to play checkers with the boy. But he couldn't seem to concentrate. The days passed. It seemed like an eternity. At night, after everybody went to bed, I would write. Report. Which you have read, I guess. Which you have read, I guess. I think there is nothing there, nothing in them. I couldn't find out anything. Except this story about the dog. Which I tried to write, but it was too hard to write. I am not an author, you know. The opinion on why we tell these stories is still out, so to speak. And the idea that any imagined interpretation of the character or circumstances combination, to be facetious, has its roots in some mysterious need to structure details remembered of previous lives, or any lives for that matter, has no consensus. As you know, we tell stories one is judged only on how well it is done. You may proceed. We watch them approach the wet grass. We watched them approach through the wet grass. We were standing in the doorway together, and I said to him, is that the dog? He didn't even turn. He just talked, looking straight ahead. And not very loudly. Now that I tell it, it seems more like a meeting. The kind you get used to in this business. Two men at a bus stop. The folded paper, the sign, the whole quickness and the secrecy. Afterwards, the worry that you got it right. You have to get out when you get older. You can't trust your ears. It happens so fast, as you know, one talks. Looking straight ahead, the other listens. Just as the bus comes, or the taxi, or whatever. There is always that noise, too. The doors open, one gets on the bus. The other looks at his schedule and his watch. Waiting for the next bus. It happens as the bus comes to block the view. So you are hidden from the observer. A few simple sentences in noise. I think I got it right. This was the same as if the man and his wife were the observers. As if the pattern of the four of us together had just changed. As if the sides had changed. It was so brazen. Looking straight ahead and talking. It seems so unreal now. So impossible. A mere boy and a grown up. Standing in the doorway together, talking about a dog. He said it so perfectly, without hesitation. No, I know that's what you think, but you are wrong. That's not the dog. That's not what you will see before you leave. You think that I'm afraid of this dog. You think that I'm trying to tell you something, something that I don't understand. But you are wrong. You'll see. Like a grown up talking. I had the same sense of worry that I had heard it right. When it happens that fast, you can't be sure. It was like a dream. That's why this is so hard to tell. I had to pretend that nothing happened. I had to greet them both and talk about the weather. Help them at the door, smell the wetness again. We unpacked the shopping bags. 
They said that they had met a friend of mine in town. The message, the assignment was over. I thought how strange it was that it should end just now, just when I thought I had a breakthrough. Finally, something to report. The boy went upstairs. He left the three of us together. Talking about the friend they had met in town. It was as if he had left me alone with them, so that I could be sure I got the message right. And that was the last time I spoke to him. I read some to spend the afternoon. We listened to the radio and made some supper. After supper, the boy went straight upstairs. Nobody said much then. It was coming to an end, and nobody knew I won't take anything. Like I won't take another assignment like that one again. I prefer to be on the street. Where the dangers are real, at least. I tried to say in my report that I had something to tell. Something that is too hard to write. That's why I am here, I suppose. Yes, yes, suppose. Very well done. That's here in the report, isn't it? May I quote you in your own words? Don't forget to use suppose. Well, perhaps, not in your own words. Out of the old Mongoose and Cobra manual, don't forget to use suppose. We have found the report to be of interest and interesting in many ways like this. For instance, the meeting at the bus stop, all oh, the nostalgia of it. Old men eat sandwiches in hotel rooms doing crossword puzzles. But the report stops before what happened the next day. I would not like to have to write that down on paper. After breakfast, I packed. I made, excuse that I, had to be I made the excuse that I'd be away for a few days, that I had called a car. What I, had instructed to say is that I, what I had been instructed to say is that I would return. In just a few I could, days. I say but I couldn't. I couldn't say it. They knew, of course. They had met a friend of mine in town. I could not lie in front of that boy. I could not lie. Knowing that he would know that I was lying. There is a limit to foolishness, even in this business. I could not lie, knowing what was in store for him. The assignment had ended, everybody knew it. The cleaner done with, the better. So finally, I simply said goodbye. He was standing in the doorway to his bedroom. I had to pass the doorway on my way out. He did not intend to come downstairs. The pretense was ended. The two of them were gone, and the dog with them. Another errand, an excuse to be away. My car came. It pulled up at the end of the road, the 50 yards away. The driver did not get out. As instructed. I picked up my bags and closed the bedroom door behind me. He was standing in the doorway to his room. I said goodbye. It was the only word possible. He just looked at me. I don't blame him. I didn't think much of myself either by that time. I must have been about halfway down the stairs. I heard him say, be careful, Those words were so unexpected. Those words were so something. unexpected. They did something to, to me, mind. to my mind. What happened next is like a dream. What happened next is like a dream. I will say it once, here, in front of you, then never again in my life to anyone. What happened next is the reason I have resigned. From the service. What happened next has left a scar. A scar that I hope no one will ever see. I crossed the front room at the bottom of the stairs. At the door, I turned to take one last look. You teach yourself to do that. It is a form of cleaning up your memory, that last look. In case anyone should ask. In case you should ever need it. And in the window on the right, I saw it. A dog was looking in the window. The sea, just the face above the sill, just looking. Jesus, what am I doing here? Just a dog looking in the window. And it was terrifying, like he had said. There was a coldness in the room. I hope I will never feel that feeling again. I started running toward the car. A grown woman running. And there was no sound anywhere. Until the car started. I had the feeling that I would never be there. I had the feeling that the car would leave before I got to it. And that I would never stop running ever. What happened next has already been described. It is in my record. Thank you, 
This has been very helpful. We would appreciate your confidentiality, of course. Stories like the one you've just told. Become more important later. Later in one's life, they become more important, just as the urgency seems less. The basic equation of old age. More important to be told. Less important to be kept back. We appreciate your understanding of this as of now. Your services have been more than excellent. But let us stress again the warning. Before you are excused to go. The story is more or less what we expected. It has been told in other forms. It verifies opinion. It is the reason we are here. The more cause, then, that it should rest with you. If we may be somewhat dramatic in speaking of it. You should... Take us to your grave. Yes, sir. my brother in the ordinary sense. 
materialistic, multilingual. Oh, as you might suppose, the code was neither literal nor obviously descriptive. It covered age and sex, color and length and treatment of hair, various ways of saying how tall, how heavy for the body size, apparent physical strength, style of clothing, whether something was carried, a purse or briefcase, any special fact that might serve as some sort of warning. in a different code. The person described as sought is the same person in a different code. I believe it is a kind of confirmation, both for the listener, whoever that was, and for the speaker, a double check against the memory. to go unnoticed. As you must know, no arrangements can be perfect in this calling. Or perhaps they were perfect. I did as I was told. There were too many words of Different sorts for your explanation to be believable. It is not important to me that you believe me. You called me here. I have been trained. I have described my role as best I can. The menu was not such that you could order food from. Most of what happened makes no sense to me. as they seem. Maybe they were the most important words I have ever spoken. Maybe it was just another test.
most immediately. See? 